In this video I'm going to talk about analyzing data. Specifically I'm going to talk about the term percentile. Uh, where you'll see percentile most often is in things like uh, standardized tests, the ACT, the SAT, that kind of stuff. The, those tend to pop out things like your percentile is this. So maybe you're in the 75th percentile for your composite score on the ACT. Uh, what that means is the value of your score is at or above 75% of the values that other students have scored, or including yourself. So 75% of the scores earned by students on that test uh, were as good or worse than yours. That's what you need to know. Now, on the left I have this little set of numbers. It's okay that some of them are repeating. That happens. So, these are AT ACT scores. Just ones I've made up. In order to find the percentile, I need to take the number of terms and then multiply it by the percentage. It's pretty simple. So let's just do the 75th percentile. I want to know what I have to score to get in that 75th percentile, because maybe that means something for college. I don't know. But uh, apparently they're only picking uh, people from my school to go, because and I have a very small school, by the way, because only 20 people took it. But, uh, you know, adjust, I guess. So I want to know where the 75th percentile starts in here. So there are 20 terms. And I just want to multiply that by 75%. Specifically, I want to multiply 20 by 0 0.75. And once I do that, I can find the value of uh, that I would need to make to fall in the 75th percentile. So I do 20 times 0.75 and end up with 15. That does not mean a score of 15. It just means 15 terms into the data set. 15 terms in to the set. So right there. That's the 15th term in the set. So in order to fall into that uh, 75th percentile, I need to have a value of uh, 27. If I wanted to get way up there, like I wanted to just, you know, overachieve a lot, maybe I want to get in the 95th percentile. Well, in that case, I would take the same number and multiply by 95% which of course would be 20 times 0 0.95. And I would find out that that would be the 19th term in the set. So right here. In order to be in the 95th percentile of this group, I need to score a 34. So there it is. That's all percentile means. It's not overly complicated, but occasionally you'll get a question about this, and this is the way to find it.